This is a whiskey sour, slowly dripping into my mixing glass while being clarified. Today I'm going to tell you all you need to know to nail the clarification every time. It takes a little bit of patience and a few basics. That's it. All right, so first let's clarify what a clarified mill punch is. It dates back from the early 1700s, and in 1763, someone by the name of Benjamin Franklin, photo here in case you don't know who he is, wrote his recipe and sent it to a friend because said friend really liked Mr. Franklin's punch recipe. And today you can still find some photo of this letter. It looked like this, pretty awesome, especially when you consider that this letter was written before 1806, which is the date where the word cocktail was first written in newspaper. So the clarified mill punch predate the era of cocktail and it was using molecular mixology techniques. Mind blowing. But aside from being awesome, why would you clarify cocktail with milk? Because it is delicious. It gives a very nice texture to the drink, creates some very interesting flavors and it smoothens the rough edges of the cocktail. It is very interesting. And I must say, every time I post a clarified cocktail on Instagram, I get a lot of reactions and a lot of questions. Reactions being like, what the hell, milk and citrus in a cocktail with curdles, that's gross, I don't want it. But you have to understand, there's no more milk protein in the cocktail, they'll be thrown away in the process and you'll be left with only a clear liquid with a little bit of whey from the milk in the cocktail and that's what's gonna give the new texture and flavor to your cocktail. It is delicious. You have to trust me on that. And for the questions, I get a lot of, I've tried it several times. I've never been able to clarify it properly. Can you help me out? And the answer is yes, of course. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to make a clarified New York sour because we can, because it is delicious and because it looks awesome. The float of red wine on top of the clear drink is amazing. So if you guys are ready, go get your inner Benjamin Franklin and we're going to make that cocktail together. So for the ingredients, all you're going to need is bourbon, lemon, sugar, red wine, and milk. And for the equipment, a vessel, a fennel, and a cheesecloth or a coffee filter. So let's do it. So first you're gonna pour two ounce of your favorite bourbon in a mixing glass. Then you're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. and three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Then in another mixing glass, you're gonna add one ounce of whole milk. And now the important part, you're gonna pour your cocktail on top of your milk and not the other way around because as soon as your cocktail will touch the milk, it will start to curdle. And if you pour the other way around, the whole cocktail will not be in touch with uncurdled milk. So it is very important that you pour your cocktail on top of your milk and not the other way around. So in your mixing glass, you're gonna add on top a fennel and a coffee filter or a cheesecloth. And you're gonna pour your mixture on top of it. Usually the first drops are a little cloudy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for maybe 30 seconds to make sure that the, uh, the clarification process has started properly. And then you're gonna flip that and you're gonna pour this little cloudy mixture on top of your unfiltered mixture. And that's the way to get the perfect clarification every single time. You don't want to get rid of the curdles for a second filtration if that's what you need. Uh, sometimes you need the second filtration to make sure to have the perfect clear liquid. So don't forget to pour over the curdles when you do a second filtration. So I repeat, you need alcohol and acid in order to get the milk to curdle. So once you get that, you pour your cocktail over your milk to start the curdling process, and then you filter it through cheesecloth or coffee filter. And if the beginning of your clarification 
is a little cloudy, you simply pour those few drops over your unfiltered uh, liquid and then you're gonna get a perfectly clear liquid and cocktail every single time it is guaranteed there's a lot of saying online you have to you have to eat the milk not true i've tried it. it doesn't make a difference there's also a lot of articles that say that you have to wait a long time before starting the clarification not true uh, obviously if you want to infuse some ingredients into your punch before clarifying it yeah the uh the weight is important but if only the goal is to clarify it with milk the weight is not important at all actually not needed at all so now all we have to do is wait and it can take a little time All right, so we're done waiting. And as you can see, it's a little darker in the room. That's because it takes a little bit of time when you want to clarify a cocktail. So I recommend you plan it ahead of time when you want to do it. But don't worry, you can bottle it up and keep it in your fridge for almost forever because shelf life of a clarified cocktail is quite long. So don't worry, just bottle it up, keep it in your fridge and take it out whenever you're thirsty, when you have friends over, pour it over ice and you're good to go. But today we're making a clarified New York sour. And right now this is only a clarified clarified whiskey sour so we have to transform it and we're going to do it very shortly but before there's one more thing I want to say uh, I want to talk about dilution right now we've just done this one so it's not chilled we want to serve it cold but uh, when you clarify a cocktail you are incorporating more liquid into your drink because of the weight from the milk is going to be in there so that's going to act a little bit as our dilution so when chilling your cocktail with a stir or a shake you want to just chill it briefly uh, without adding too much water into your cocktail once again so we're just going to add a little bit of ice actually plenty ice and stir it briefly. Then we're going to add our nice chunk of ice and we're going to strain our cocktail over it. So now the final touch. So in order for this whiskey sour to become a New York sour, we want to add a little bit of red wine on top. So we're just going to pour it over our big block of ice. So that's going to help to place the wine delicately over the cocktail without going too far in. And this, my friend, is a clarified New York Sour. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend and see you next week. Cheers. Mm. It is really good.